Florida's governor and cabinet will hold a rare meeting later tonight, sitting as the executive clemency board. As Mike Vasilinda tells us, the meeting comes just hours before the board faces a Thursday deadline set by a federal court judge. On March 28th, federal judge Mark Walker declared Florida's clemency process unconstitutional because it left too much up to the governor and board members. I move to grant restoration of civil rights. The organizer behind a November rights restoration ballot question has previously told us the process just takes far too long. And once they apply, what we've seen is a process in time of upward of 10 years. The judge said April 26th is the deadline for the board to submit a new plan. A week later, the state appealed, asking a higher federal court to stay the order. The clemency board has done virtually nothing in the week since it's asked a higher federal court to stay the judge's order. Now they risk being in contempt. The board set a meeting at 9.30 Wednesday night. Now veteran clemency watcher Mark Schlockman says the board is scrambling. It suggests that um, they didn't take the court seriously. Asked about the meeting Wednesday morning in Tampa, Governor Rick Scott had only this to say. Well, we'll be reviewing that tonight. We're reviewing uh, exactly what um, you know the the courts have decided, and, and we'll make a decision how we go forward. Under the plan the current governor and cabinet adopted in 2011, about 5,000 former felons have gotten their voting rights back. That's compared to more than 155,000 who went through the process by the previous administration in half the time. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Massalinda, Channel 4, the local station. Tonight's meeting, unless it's canceled because the federal court issues a stay before it starts, will be held via phone. The public is invited to speak at the state capitol.